Today, we're going to be talking about uh, division strategy, uh, partial quotients, and uh, this is a little different than the long division that, that most people are used to. Uh, but before we start, we're just going to talk about division problems a little bit. Um, the dividend is the number that is being divided. And then the divisor is the number that divides the dividend. And the answer to a vision, division problem is called the quotient. Some numbers can't be divided evenly and when that happens then we end up with a remainder for our first problem that we're going to do we are going to be um, working on the problem 127 divided by 7. I like to do these kind of problems on graph paper because it helps to make sure that we keep all of our numbers lined up correctly with their place value. So this is what you'll see um, typically on a division problem. For those who have never seen partial quotients, the next thing that we do is we draw a line, a vertical line, right here. And that line is going to separate um, the subtraction that we do from the partial quotients that we do along the side. It's breaking the problem up into different parts. Yesterday in math, in lesson 4.1, we talked about friendly numbers, and we use friendly numbers as a mental math strategy. Friendly numbers works well with this strategy as well. So if I was going to start with um, friendly numbers for 127, we're looking for a multiple of 7 that we can add to another number to equal 127. So I'm going to start with 70 plus 57. Now you typically not going to write this for every problem, but if, if that's if this if that helps you, then by all means do that. So we're going to look at this first number here, 70. We're going to we're going to divide 70 first. And I know that because of the 70 right here, that there are 10 groups of seven. At, at least 10 groups of 7 in 127. So I'm going to put 10 right here. 10 times 7 is 70. And then I'm going to subtract. 127 minus 70 is 57. So now the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to divide this number, whatever I have left, by 7. I know that 7 times 8 is 56. So there are 8 groups of 7 in 57. And that gives me 56. And I subtract, after I get my partial quotient, I subtract 57 minus 56 is 1. 1 is less than my divisor. So that means I'm not going to do any more dividing, and I have this remainder of 1. Once I've gotten to that point, now I add up the partial quotients. So 10 plus 8 is 18, and I have this 1 left over. So my quotient, my answer to this problem is 18 remainder 1.
unfortunately I can't pause with this program. So let's move on to another sample problem. And I'm going to do 1010 divided by 6. So I've got my division problem written out. Now I'm going to add my line to separate the subtraction side from the partial quotient side. There are so many different choices to start with, but you always want to start with the friendly number. And that friendly number is going to be different from person to person. For this problem, I'm thinking 600 plus 410 as my numbers. So 600 is going to be my first friendly number that I use. So I know that there are at least 100 sixes in 1010. So my partial quotient 100, multiply that by 6, and I get 600. Then I subtract. I, 0 minus 6, can't do that, so I'm going to borrow from the 1, rename 10 minus 6 is for 410. <clears throat> now I'm going to think of a number that um, the, how many groups of 6 I could get in 410. I want to try and find a number that I can get close to it and I'm going to use my basic facts to help me figure that out. So I'm thinking I'm going to ignore this 0 right here for now and look at this 41. Well, I know that 6 times 6 is 36, and that's, pr that's pretty close to 41, and this doesn't go over. So if 6 times 6 is 36, 6 times 60 is going to be 360. Now I'm going to go ahead and subtract. minus 6 is 5. I have 50 left over. So I'm going to use that same strategy. What can I multiply 6 by to get close to 50? And I know that 6 times 8 is 48. So I know that there's 8 groups of 6 and 50. I subtract and I get 2. 2 is less than 6. So that's how many I have left over. That's my remainder. I have two left over. Now I'm going to add up my partial quotients. 100 plus 60 plus 8 is 168. And then I have two left over. So my quotient, my answer is 168, remainder 2. Now there's another way that you can write the remainder without... Um, putting it with a remainder, and that is as a fraction. And if you're going to write it as a fraction, you look at your remainder, that's how many you have left, and then you look at your divisor. So you could also write remainder 2, or you could write 2 sixths instead of your remainder. So there's a um, sam couple samples of the partial. Uh, quotients, division algorithm. Um, lesson 4.4 introduces another, another strategy um, to this, and so you can look for that in the um, video for lesson 4.4.